number 11, we are given negative 4 divided by 5 is equal to 8p. Um, all we need to do to solve this one is divide by 8. Okay, so we have negative 4 over 5 divided by 8 equals p. So what I did is divide by 8. Just move the division by 8 over there to get rid of this. And when you have a fraction divided by something, there's no such thing as dividing a fraction. What happens is we keep the first term, change to multiplication, and we flip this. So you got to think about this as 8 over 1. When you flip it, you end up with 1 over 8. And multiply straight across the top from there. <clears throat> I do recommend you reduce if possible. So right now, this cannot reduce, and this cannot reduce top to bottom. But you can also reduce top to bottom diagonally. And 4 and 8 are both divisible by 4. So divide this, this becomes a 1. Divide this by 4, and this becomes a 2. And then when you multiply this, you have much smaller numbers. Negative 1 times 1 gives me a negative 1 on the top. And then 5 times 2 gives me 10 on the bottom. So we end up with negative 1 over 10 is equal to t. Number 12, this is similar to what we've done before. So we're just going to combine like terms. We have 4u minus 6u equals negative 12 minus 2. And we're going to subtract the common like terms. So 4u minus 6u leaves us with negative 2u. And then we do negative 12 minus 2, that gives us negative 14. And then from here we will divide by negative 2. And negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. So we're left with u is equal to negative 14 divided by negative 2 is 7. And negative divided by negative is positive. So we just end up with 7.